Hi, I'd like to talk about making uh, custom UI table view cells. Okay, so I'm going to start here in Xcode and create a new project. And I'll start with the single view application. And we'll call it um, custom UI table view cell. Okay. And let me save this into a folder here. And let's race through creating just the basic table view. So here's my view in Storyboard. And what I want to do is I want to find the table view here on the list and drag it into my view. So now we have a table view. And you know what I want to do is I want to make sure that this resizes to fit any screen size. So I'll go to um, Resolve the Auto Layout Issues button down here, and we'll choose Add Missing Constraints. Or you could choose Reset to Suggested Constraints. I think those both will do the same thing in this situation. And uh, so there we go. And then we'll have to set up our table view. So I'm going to Control click on the table view and assign the delegate and the data source to the view controller. And there we go. So there's our basic table view setup. And now let's add a cell. So I'll drag one UI table view cell into the view. And let's give this cell a name. So I'll go to the property inspector, find the identifier for the cell, the reuse identifier, and we'll call it cell, all lowercase. Okay, so let's set up our table view to um, display, you know, just the default cells, right? So what I'm going to do is in the view here, I'm going to add UI table view delegate and UI table view data source as our um, our delegates or our you know protocols, right? And um, and these two um, protocols require that we include some methods. So um, let's add in the first, which is table view, which is table view. I always have this problem where the code hints kind of quit working on me. Oh, there we go, right? So they're number of rows in section. So table view, number of rows in section. Okay, and we'll just mock up the, the data here. So I'll just have 10 rows, say, okay? So next, I wanna do table view, and I wanna find cell for row at index path. Okay, so it's a cell for row at index path. And what we wanna do here is we wanna create a table view cell. So I'm gonna just create a default table view cell and then later, later we'll, we'll make a custom cell. Okay, so just to get it working, we'll, we'll start with the default cell. So I'll type in let cell equal uh, table view dot DQ reusable cell with identifier. So you can just start typing DEQ and that should bring up that method. So we want DQ reusable cell with identifier, okay? And that's a little different than DQ reusable cell with identifier for index path. Okay, so let's get this first one here. And then our cell identifier was called cell. So we'll put the name here. That was the name we used in storyboard, okay? And then this should be a UI table view cell. So let's find... Uh, UI table view cell from the list there. And then this method needs to return. So if we look over here, you can see this method returns a UI table view cell. And here we've made a UI table view cell. So we're going to say return cell. And just to mock up our data, why don't we say cell dot text label equals or text label dot text equals and we'll We'll say cell, and then we'll put the index path in here, the row number. So we'll say index path dot row. Okay. So if I test that, um, 
Let's see what happens here. We should have 10 cells. So we'll build our project. And there's our cells, 0 to 9, OK? So now what I want to do is I want to make those cells custom, OK? And what I'm going to do for this is I want to make, um, I'm going to put my own label in there with my own font, and then I want to create sort of a an outline that is kind of got rounded corners, right? So first of all, let's go into storyboard again. And then this is our custom cell here. And you can change some of the properties. Some of the things you can just set here in storyboard, but there's some things you can't do. So um, what are we going to do? What I want to do is I want to change the size of this. And then I want to add an image in the background. And I think I'm going to do this with the UI image view. And what I want to do is create an image that's sliced so I can resize it to any size. And so I'll make an image with rounded corners that I can stretch and fill in here. OK, so let me go to my folder here and find my, um, actually it was over here. I'm going to find my image here, which is this one. It's kind of got the, it's just a box with some rounded corners. And I'll drag the image into Xcode. And then Xcode will say, like, hey, you know, what do you want to do with this image? Do you want to link to it from its original location, or do you want to copy it and create a copy in this project folder? And that's what I want to do here. I want to leave the original where it is and just make a copy in this folder. OK? So, uh, so there we go. And then here you can see my image. There it is. And what I want to do is I want to add it to this image XC asset. So I'm going to click on this folder here, OK? And at the bottom here, sort of on the bottom left, there's a little plus button that says it's in the white area here in this column. And it says, add a group or image set. So I'll click on that. And then it says, like, how do you want to get this image in here? I have an image, it says Im import from project. So I have an image in the project folder here. So I'll do from project, right? Or image from project. And you can see here's the image there. And I'll choose import. And you can't undo this option. So it gives you a chance to create like a, you know, a source control kind of history, right, for this. So that way you could actually go back. So I'm going to say, you know, yeah, let's enable that. And then there's my image. And you can see the image is missing, but now it's in part of this image asset. So that's the thing you can't undo. So now here's the image here. I'll click on it. And in the lower right side of this area here, there's um, a button that says Show Slicing. So I'll click on Show Slicing. And then it'll show me my image here and say Start Slicing. Let's click on that. And then you can slice the image horizontally or vertically or both. I'm going to do both. OK, and what's going to happen here is this middle area, these two middle areas are going to be stretched or tiled. There's an option for each, OK, um, depending on what your art looks like. And then the corners here don't get changed. They stay the same. OK, so uh, we're actually done here. So I'll just leave that alone. I think that's pretty good. And now let's go back to our cell. So what I want to do here is I want to add um, a, an image view to the background here. So I'll drag this into the view here like that. So I drag the UI image view in there. And then I'll fill it with the image that we created. So I'll choose image and I'll pick my image from the menu. So there's my image there. And you know, I don't want it to go right up against the edges. So what I think I'll do is I'll select the image view here and then in the sizing, you know, I'll make it a little bit smaller, maybe 10 pixels smaller, and then I'll move it over five pixels on the X, right? So that should leave me five pixels on each edge. And then I'll make it a little bit smaller here. So I'll make it five pixels shorter on the bottom, and then that way the next row will line up right here on the edge, and there'll be five pixels, you know, between each one, right? Okay. So now maybe I need a text field. So let me drag a text field in here. Actually, you know, I don't want a text field. I want a text label. So let's grab the text label, and I'll drag it in here. And I'll kind of space it, you know, how I want. Right. And then um, 
I'm going to make it a little bit bigger here. And I'll set the font. Um, let's do a custom font. Helvetica Thin. Um, I'll make the size a little bigger. Oops. Let's uh, click on our label here. And move it up a little bit, and then maybe I'll set the color to white. There, right? So there's my label, and there's my text field. So now I probably need some constraints to make sure that these things size correctly, right? So I'll start with the, with the image view. It might be easier to select these from this view, and if you don't see that, you can click this little button right here, and it'll open up that sidebar. So I'll click on the text or the image view, and um, I'll go into this little button here, the second one of these four, and I'll choose, um, you know, I'll just do all the edges there, okay? So it'll be zero from the top, five from the left, five from the right, and five from the bottom. Okay, and I'll add four constraints. And it looks like I need to update the constraints here, or update the frames to kind of nudge that into place so we don't see any of those orange lines, right? So now this guy, I'm going to position this from the top, left, right, and the height, okay? So I'll click on the little box button there, the second one, and we'll say top, left, right, and then I'll set the height. Add four constraints, and then that's pretty good. Okay, so, so now that we've got the cell all built, now what we want to do is, um, let me actually change the size of this. We'll need a little more room in a minute, so I'm going to shrink that down. Right. Um, hmm. That might be a problem. Let's let's try and rein this guy in a little bit here. Maybe I'll type in. Um, actually, for some reason, I think that that's the right height there, but or the height, right width. Oh, I guess it's not. Let's let's change this to a three ten, and then that should be correct. I guess I could have chosen. Uh, you know, update frames down here, and that would have fixed it too. Anyway, so uh, so we got our cell all set up. So now we need to create a class to represent this special cell because it's a different type. It's not the regular UI table view cell. So to do that, I'll hit Command N, and I'll choose iOS Source Cocoa Touch Class. And what we want to do is we want to create a UI table view cell. So I'll choose the subclass as UI table view cell. And then at the top here, I'll set the, um, the name to my table view cell. Okay? And then click Next. And I'll save this into my project folder. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay. So here's my cell file right here. This is representing the cell. And we'll need to assign this to the cell that we've created. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the main storyboard, click on the cell here in the list, right? So, you know, the, the cell contains this container view and the other views that we created, the, you know, the, the image and the label. And then above that one level is the UI table view cell. So this is the actual cell. So this cell right here, I want to go to the identity inspector and give it a new class name. So I'm going to start typing my table view cell, and then the name should appear here. And so I can hit return to make sure it takes it. And I'll just let Xcode spell that. Okay, so now that we've got that set, now we're going to open up that table view cell. And I'm going to use the option key to open storyboard simultaneously in the assistant editor here. And what I want to do is I want to connect this um, label as a property that is recognized by our table view cell. So I'll use the control key and drag from the label into the class file, my table view cell. And then I'll call this one, let's say, my label. And then we'll connect it. So now we've got an IB outlet for this, for this view. Okay? Or for that, you know, label. Okay, so uh, so there we go. And uh, now what I want to do is I want to um, 
use that table view cell instead of the regular UI table view cell in our view controller. So our regular view controller is using a UI table view cell, you know, whenever it needs a cell. So what I want to do is I want to switch the name here to my table view cell, okay? And my table view cell actually doesn't have a text label because we have the, the my label, okay? So I'll type my label there. And my label is a UI text label, so it has a text property. So we're going to put the text, you know, into the my label, okay? And there we go. Let's test it out. Oh, there we go. So those look pretty good, right? Um, and there's a couple things we can still do here. Um, you know, just notice the sliced image kind of scales nicely, right? You can see there's a line here, and I don't want that regular separator in there. So let's turn that off. We can do that in Storyboard. And uh, I'll go to the, uh, the Table View and Properties, and then it says Separator. Um, no, actually, separator style right here. So it's a separator default. Let's change that to none. And that should get rid of the separator. And then maybe on the table view here, um, you know, we'll set the background color, right? Now, this is the background color that goes behind the cells. So if you drag down far enough where the cells end, you know, they'll reveal the background color. So why don't we set the, uh, the background color here to, um, to black? right and then the cells you can see the background here on the cell is still white so I want that to be transparent so I'm going to go to the cell here UI table view cell and I'll set the background color to the clear color okay so now you can see the black behind it and now when I test it we should see my my custom cells against the black background right and then there's nothing in between there. So there we go. There's a custom table view cell with like a custom, you know, cell shape. 